Yeah. Well, and that's it. Steve Allen. Yeah. Woo! Steve Allen. Matter of applause it was about right. <laughs> I'm a comedian, writer, musician, raconteur, but uh, you all probably most remember me as the host of the uh, the original host of the Tonight Show. Not going to say I was the best host, but I think it's safe to say I wasn't the foulinest. <laughs> worst, I mean worst. We can do a little. I'd like to give you a little history about uh, comedy, if you would. Uh, after I hosted, uh, Tonight Show was taken over by Jack Parr, as he's commonly known th these days, who what? <laughs> <laughs> and who can forget what Johnny Carson did on the Tonight Show? I'll tell you who Johnny Carson, the morning after he did the Tonight Show, was a drinker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a drinker, that one. <laughs> Here's a... <laughs> Jay Leno took over after that. I've got a, uh, a suggestion for Jay Leno. <laughs> I've got a suggestion for a bit for Jay Leno. Maybe you should jaywalk your way back home to your garage full of cars. <laughs> All right. uh, I didn't say it was going to be good, folks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've written over 50 books. Three of them good. <laughs> this is one of them, Steve Allen's private joke file, which you can find at the Atwood Library. <laughs> And in it, I talk about something that has plagued comedy since I was a comedian, which is vulgarity in comedy. This is for you, Pack Theater. I write in this book, let me share this with you, one last depressing thought. At the, as the 20th century drew to a close, one of the more troubling social issues was the degree to which the popular media, television, radio, films, black box theaters, <laughs> had become unprecedentedly coarse and vulgar. Talking to you, Bill and Ted. I'm no longer like that. <laughs> <laughs> Consider in this context two old sayings, you are what you eat, and tell me what you read, and I'll tell you what you are. Both refer to human appetites and incorporate the common sense perception that we are influenced mentally and psychologically by what we ingest. Vulgarity. <laughs> uh, I didn't come here to lecture you, so let me just share a few good old-fashioned jokes that I wrote in my old joke fire file. <laughs> a joke fire might be a good suggestion for this book. <laughs> Here's an old good one. What is statutory rape? Raping a statue. See, we can all enjoy that. <laughs> good old-fashioned clean comedy. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll continue. Naturally, all of the affected field of comedy, uh, all of this affected the field of comedy itself. Many inexperienced comedians, <laughs> noting that the easiest laughs come from any reference to drugs, drinking, or sex, became dependent on schlock and shock in a surprisingly short period of time, and were permitted by broadcasting executives of their own age bracket to trample on the standards of good taste that had prevailed for centuries. I know. It's a scary thought. Let's, let's lighten it up a bit with another uh, good old-fashioned joke. <laughs> Here's a good one. Marriage begins when he sinks into your arms and it ends when your arms sink into the sink. <laughs> For the ladies out there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one I wrote myself. A Spanish man says, adios, senor, hasta mañana. The white man replies, and a Donna Michi to you. See, because they talk funny. <laughs> Could work with any Italian name, too. And then Dave Chacho to you. It's <laughs> funny because their names sound funny. This is good, clean comedy. Not like the kind of thing you'll see here. <laughs> One of the factors contributing to such a state of affairs was simple ignorance. In this case, that of the branch of history, which is cultural. Perhaps many of us today simply do not know that such esteemed wits as Mark Twain, Will Rogers, Fred Allen, Groucho Marx, George S. Kaufman, and Robert Benchley, all of whom we remember fondly, <laughs> were simply naturally funny, never depended on vulgarity to amuse others. They used the N-word a lot, but not vulgarity. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here's a joke. Is this the Salvation Army? Yes. Do you save bad girls here? Yes. Will you save me one for tomorrow night? <laughs> That's the kind of comedy that used to fly back in the day. <laughs> Not anymore. I'll leave you with this. Although some of today's younger readers are almost certainly TV viewers and radio listeners <laughs> as well, I find it hard to believe American humor was, for a very long time, deliberately to deliberately reinstate the point, overwhelmingly clean and inoffensive. In other words, exposure to it could do no harm to children. And I will leave you here with this warning. Don't fall into vulgarity. Only do comedy that everyone can enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>